Here we go! TMD Yao Yao Molt in red along the top. Clash with Ash, Surgical Goblin blue along the bottom. Now they've practiced all night, so what do they got? What kind of decks are you going to show us here? Double skeletons in the back to split, to cycle to what they want. Minor Poison comes out there. Poison, though, doesn't actually grab any of the other troops. Mm. Don't think it's even going to get those Spear Goblins, all oh. of them. No. Don't be little Spear Goblins walk into the Poison anyways. It's just one supporting this Minor push out the right side. Locked down, and that's not a whole lot to worry about. Oh, no, this Rocket comes in a little bit. No, it does oh. hit because the Flying Machine stopped to fight ah. the Ice Golem there. Now, I really like the Witch and Executioner combo here. If they can pull off a you know, Red Team Tornado, it's going to be really effective. Right now, we're seeing the effectiveness of a Blue Team Tornado as the Executioner takes out Witch and uh, Enemy Executioner. Right side defense against this mine. It's holding up. Good way to roll a log. Uh, looks like that uh, keeps him off. Mm. Poison's going to be able to tick away, though, and we need more to stop this Knight. Ooh, Miner's coming in again. The Poisons are coming out preemptively. A defensive Miner comes out, and that is a bad sign. That's when you know you don't have great options because Miner is so much more of an offensive card than a defensive card. That tower is now down to 1350 on the top right side, 1650 on the bottom right. We'll see which one goes down first. They're both playing Knight here, and yeah, I gotta agree with you. Miner works a lot better on offense than defense. If you're playing a three elixir defending card, might as well just do the Knight instead. Hey, from him. Yes. Do you know what a Knight with two left feet wears? Oh, flip flips. <laughs> Why did they invite you? Right side push gets the tower down to 793, and CWA and Surgical Goblin are ahead, but facing down a huge Golem Executioner push. Can they hold on? Oh, this rocket. Oh, this is some value here. This rocket's going to bring this tower down to 300 damage and take out the five Elixir Executioner along with it. That makes this a relatively unsupported Golem. The Witch has to come down to back it up. Log rolls through, that's not quite enough, but with the Executioner swiping him down, manages to finish the kill. Right side defense is going to be <gasps> tested, though. Two miners on that tower already with a Golem soaking the hits. I think it's going to be finished off. Yeah, yeah, and Mold making really good on their promise to crush these, <laughs> crush their enemies. The Golem goes down. See them driven before you. Yes. They hear the lamentations of their women. <laughs> Last night, uh, Molt was actually talking to me over a drink, like, what we should play, and he was telling me, you know, he thinks Knight's really powerful in all the formats, so it's not a shock for me to see Knight here. I'm really glad to see the Golem Beatdown deck. I think that's one of the strongest you can see. One of the weakest decks, and I'm glad that we didn't see it, is uh, Lava Hound, because there's so many poisons, tornadoes, and executioners in 2v2. Oh, big attack on the left lane, though. It's another double minor Golem hit, and it looks like Molt is pulling the victory off. He really practiced hard last night. Must have, because the victory against CWA and Surgical Goblin is not an easy one to achieve at all. No. Quite all. dominating. Look, that left side tower for the team on top has been holding on strong. And I think Yao Yao and Molt had a little bit of a surprise up their sleeve, and it got them the game one victory. Now, remember, best of three. So we have one or two more matches between these teams. The next match could determine who moves on. Out here might be underestimating TMD Yao Yao. He's the defending King's Cup champion. That's and he's right. back here to defend his title D uh, with Molt here. We're in game two. Red along top, bats come split. Goblin Barrel is coming down there on the right side. The log is going to clean it up, but the miner there is unanswered, locking onto the tower, dealing a little bit of damage. They'll take some damage early on, but something that these guys are really well known for is being willing to soak those hits and hit back even harder. Left side push is going in with a Lava Hound. That's about the biggest flying creature that you can see in this whole game, Ramham. Yeah, we don't have the, the Clash of Clans dragon just yet. We have to settle for Lava Hounds and Baby Dragons until then. Now, the Lava Hounds coming in, but with no support, not going to do much. I think they're abandoning it, basically just letting the poison handle most of it. Bummerino with the tornado pulling all those pups together. Looks like this left side push is about to fizzle. Pups being pulled back onto the night means that this attack is just a little bit too little too late. Log rolls through the remainder of that attack, and TMD, Yayo, and Molt looking fine and confident up on top. And that's something that's a little tough with the teammate there. It's, it's almost instinct to react with Zap or to react with Log in a moment where you think you need it. But if you both played at the same time, then you are down to some elixir and down the spells in your hand. Now, Tim Yao Yao and Mo are playing Goblin Barrel. So if you are Clash with Ash and Surgical Goblin, you want to make sure you hold on to those spells because a bad Goblin Barrel could end your tournament.
Oh, this might be it. Moving in the right side. A log does take it out. And with the King Tower activated, they don't have to worry too much about these miners anymore. I gotta say, they've taken a little bit more damage, but the advantage that CWA and Surgical Golan have here is that they can control the flow of gameplay. They're playing heavier decks. Well, I was about to say they're playing heavier decks until I saw that goal moving on the right side. The Lava Hound push is absolutely deadly, and it requires a lot of defensive setup. Being able to poke and prod over on the right side is good and all, but if CWA and Central Goblin can get a balloon on the left side tower, it's going down. Watch that Tesla tower. It's got a 40-second lifespan. The Golem was played in the back, and the Tesla was played in response, but the Golem is so slow that by the time it even gets here, that Tesla tower is already at half health and vulnerable to poison. I don't know if we're going to see a big push from CWA and Surgical Goblin just yet. I mean, we've seen lots of Lava Hounds connecting out the left lane, but the big heavy hitter for those air base decks is usually the Balloon. Why haven't there been any of those yet? It looks like they're trying to do instead a little bit of a Mega Knight combo with the Mega Knight wow. flying underward. Oh, wow, we get that down to 346, 282, 218, 154, 90. 26 and dead. Auctioneer Rumham calling the numbers as they fall. Nicely done. We've got a 1-1 draw in the arena now with 30 seconds left. Do you favor the Lava Hound deck or the Gollum Beatdown deck in this overtime matchup? I would say Gollum Beatdown, but I really think the Mega Knight might be the game changer here. Being played in the middle like that, it needs an instant response, and it's just so hard to put something down that can fight Mega Knight effectively when you're fighting in a phone booth like that. This execution is looking awfully healthy, though. Gets the lock into the tower, and he's swinging that axe. Wow! This might do it! Well. The turnaround comeback victory as the tower goes down and Clash with Ash and Surgical Goblin are going to take game two and move it to one and one. Not even willing to let that thing... So many Musketeers, Electro Wizards, Executioners, there's so many good rocket targets near the tower that I think playing a deck where both players are running rocket could be really effective. I agree with you there, and you know, it's reliable damage. You can't stop the rock. We call it 493 and free because that's how much damage it does at tournament standard. Early defense out the right side for Surgeon Ash is going to result in an Executioner Mega Minion combo moving in, but the Musketeer is a great defense there, even with the poison taking her down. I don't think that uh, there's too much to worry about this Executioner on the offense. Executioner is not a very strong offensive card. As you can see, he's taking his time to throw his axe. It takes a couple seconds to actually pull that off, and the whole time he's getting shot down by the tower, so not much of an effective counterattacker there. Meanwhile, on the left lane, tower goes down to 1738 from that split push. Oh, the Harbor comes in and gets around the Tesla Tower. One swing, two swings, and the Tornado, which the main goal of the Tornado there is to activate the King Tower, didn't even get that off. Took two shots, spent three elixir, didn't get what you wanted. Swing, swing. The All-American Rejects saw this match coming from a decade ago. Defense up on the top is going to be Mega Minion and a Tesla. Not a whole lot of support for this poor Lava Hound. Oh, the oh, two poisons come out, but neither of them hit the Goblin Gang. Goblin Gang finally walks through and gets chopped up, but I already think that the blue push is kind of, you know, falling apart at this point, so they're just going to have to settle for double poison damage. Crucial that that Musketeer survived on the left. She's going to get some support with the Miner going in the backside. It, it forces the Knight to fin, uh, defend her off at the bridge there. Nothing to defend against the Miner. He's going to get quite a few chops in there. He gets almost as much damage as a rocket for half the cost if he's undefended. Yeah, if you're a new player and you just opened your Miner and you're wondering, what do I do with my Miner? One of the best uses of Miner in the entirety of Clash Royale is to block for your low health troops. That Musketeer with the Miner on the tower forced Surgical Goblin and Clash Ash to decide, does Knight go to block the Miner? Does Knight go to block the Musketeer? With just, just the Miner, that's an easy choice, but with the, having the low health support troop threatening the tower, you have to kill the Musketeer and let the Miner go free. Now a key element to Clash Royale is offense over defense. Team DIO and Molt up on top have been drilling into that left lane, not even allowing Clash with Ash and Surge to build up the big push that they've been waiting for all game. It could be here though, two Miners Chipping away at the right side tower. We got a lot of flying critters moving in, but there's nothing to finish off this musketeer. Right side still has 870, and it's looking pretty healthy. They might have just pulled off the absolute best minor poison I've seen today, taking out the goblin gang, the musketeer, hurting the tower, and clearing the way for two miners to bring that down to 870. But the left side tower, ooh, so close. It's within zap range. The log's going to finish it off. 30 seconds left now for the blue team to tie this up. Rolling through in an awkward split push here. Surge and Clash with Ash send in the big ground attack out the left lane. It's actually getting dragged to the right by that golem. We might have a chance to put this thing in overtime after all. Lava Hound soaking hits from the tower and the miner's connected. That thing is going down, but can they keep up the defense? The golem took the Mega Knight on a walk. That tower's getting low. Surgical Goblin Clash do take the tower. So we are going to maybe go to overtime, but we'll definitely see a 
2-1 victory from one of these two teams. Ooh, a minor so close. chipping away at the back. I think he's about to get it finished off. Golem Explosion gets the kill and TMD, Alyo, and Molt. The killer combo, the dynamic duo, have claimed victory over Viva Los Parky. And I have to call that an upset. I'm not getting everyone in the crowd saying Surgical Goblin.